हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू हील चाम शाइन आई एम ग्रेटफुल फॉर ऑल द लव सपोर्ट एंड ऑल द लाइक्स शेयर्स एंड सब्सक्राइब यू हैव गिवन टू दिस न्यू ब्रांड न्यू चैनल आई एम सो थैंकफुल दैट यू आर गिव यू आर वाचिंग योर एड योर यू हैव कम टू दिस रीडिंग एंड दिस इज अ वेरी स्पेशल रीडिंग फॉर मी Uh, every full moon i spread my cards under the moonlight and i let them soak the full moon energy i let them charge in the full moon energy and every morning i do a reading for myself so this morning when i was doing a reading for myself i got this intuition to do a reading for you guys as well so without without uh, delaying that i instantly immediately pulled created three piles out of my cards and i'm doing the reading right away i have not seen these cards i don't know what they are these are pure full moon messages for you this can be advice this can be guidance this can be just a message let's see what they are and it it's a quick reading so i hope you find a lot of uh, important messages or guidance and it really helps you out and uh, full moon really brings in a lot of clarity it helps release a lot of burdens and it makes a lot of space for everything new and wonderful to come in our life i hope that happens in your life i hope you have a wonderful day a wonderful time ahead and uh, just let's see what messages are coming for you we'll start with pile 1 welcome pile 1 uh, as i mentioned in the intro this is a full moon uh, reading and uh, we are looking for the messages the full moon is giving us so i do this every full moon i spread my cards under the moonlight i let them charge i let them get all the clarity all the guidance um, a lot of energy from the full moon and uh, the next morning instant immediately uh, the next morning i wake up i after waking up i do a reading for myself i have done the same for you and let's see what messages the moon wants to give you this is a quick reading uh, okay john of john of arc voice of truth mm, shalin master another strong card another warrior card be graceful in movement and action okay both these cards talk about action both these cards talk about strength about standing strong about um, movement about action about uh, and, and what else we have red sea mm. pentacles knight of pentacles good start okay ambition and eight of cups ace of swords very nice and three of cups wonderful celebration as i said it is a quick reading we are just getting the messages from the full moon so let's see what the full moon wants to tell you okay any advice any messages okay looks like the moon you have already got the moon over here so the moon it looks like that you are moving away from something which does not serve you which is exactly what we do in the uh, when we do the release rituals in the during full moon we release what if, what does not serve us be it physical be it mental be it emotional be it spiritual whatever is holding us back whatever is not right for us is not letting us grow not letting us become what we are supposed to become we release that looks like you have you have, you have already done that you might be doing full moon ritual you might be doing uh, release rituals you might be writing whatever you want to release and burning it under the moonlight uh, or you might be um, meditating and uh, you know thinking or visualizing that you, the whatever you want to release is moving out of your body it's going out of your body and uh, this is a very strong card uh, which is telling you that if you are not doing so then you need to do it you need to walk away from whatever does not work for you whatever does not support you whatever is keeping you uh, where you don't want to be so this is the direct message from the moon itself the moon we can see over here 
that walk away don't uh, if if something doesn't serve you if uh, you are in a job which you don't think you should be uh, where if you are in a relationship which is not good for you any any or even if you have any habits like procrastination or worry doubt or uh, jealousy or any kind of habits if anything which is becoming a burden for you which is not letting you be, be your higher self or uh, be like what you be the strong person you are meant to be because these both cards are pretty strong so you are meant to be a very strong person you are a strong person you are a warrior you are someone who uh, people don't want to actually uh, like get in conflict with you are strong enough you will stand your ground you don't take anybody's any kind of bad behavior you don't uh, entertain any kind of Um, you know rude rudeness or anything you are firm you are strong you don't deal with people who are emotionally manipulative you don't uh, you are uh, very much aware who's a narcissist or who is a energy vampire and you cut them away you keep them at a distance and but you are very gentle with uh, the people who are good the people who are important for you you are not so strict or you are not so strong or you are not like a warrior with everyone uh, if you have someone you love uh, like definitely you have someone who you love but even with your pets with your family with people you are close to with your friends with your colleagues whoever do not cross you whoever do not uh, go against your rule or what uh, codes you have the moral codes you have you are very nice with them you are very gentle with you you are very calm with them and uh, they know that very very well you are very graceful you move your movements and your actions are pretty graceful so you might be uh, you might be physically at active or if you are not you are trying to be physically very active you might be getting into ancient uh, like um, physical exercises like yoga even this even even martial arts even uh, tai chi and uh, all these kind of ancient knowledges asian knowledges also where uh, you believe in movement stretch stretching and uh, graceful and uh, no not uh, depending on uh, gyms or um, weights and all but depending only on your your body itself not uh, depending on machines and equipments but uh, working with only your body itself you might be into that which is really good for you because it is working for you you are uh, creating balance we have this yin yang over here so the balance is also coming in your life you and uh, you are focused towards it you are determined towards it a shaolin master is actually very focused determined uh, he is uh, completely devoted to his uh, skills his craft his practice his beliefs and you are becoming that person and if you are not the moon is suggesting you to become that person to focus on that one thing which will make you the skillful master that you are meant to be and uh, you your voice must might be important when you in your work in your career or maybe in uh, your passion maybe you ha- do something related to voice like uh, youtube videos like uh, singing like a lecturer like a teacher where your voice is important people s- s- sit and listen to you people listen to your voice and uh, the the moon is telling you to stand strong focus on your purpose release the fear release release the fear of persecution and speak your truth and don't worry don't be scared about speaking like speaking your truth don't feel that oh i'm very rude or i should be very polite and i should be kind to people no see you have the swords you are like the queen of sword like this huge sword you can cut away people who do not serve you we are no no more in that energy where you have to be very kind with people even if people are not with you or you have to uh, 
like smile at everyone and be kind and not uh, take uh, not be rude and all no 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 now the energy is completely different people do not uh, just accept anybody's rude behavior uh, they are very vocal about their own rights and it is a good thing we have to be very vocal gone are the days where people used to bully manipulate and um, create a lot of uh, trouble for uh, people who are uh, like younger or uh, like weaker or anything no nowadays people are pretty vocal they are uh, very aware of their own rights their own personal space their own personal freedom and that is how you are supposed to be you are doing that you are moving towards that energy which is very good and uh, i am seeing that uh, you are become this strong you are becoming this strong master you are supposed to be we will go more into the details about these cards just give me a second let me see what more messages i'm getting from these cards from the tarot cards and then we'll go in detail for the oracle cards uh, see the ace of sword is telling me that you you are getting breakthroughs new ideas mental clarity which is going to lead towards your success you are becoming mentally very clear you are moving towards success you are getting this clarity the divine is helping you clear away remove all doubts remove all uh, uh, all habits or excuses or whatever is holding you back from become, from having success because you have success you have success and it is and for that you need mental clarity for that you need to focus on your ideas focus on one thing dedicate yourself to one thing um, do not multitask no no multitasking one thing see these five cups over here and these three cups these three cups the five cups maybe this person is dealing with multiple things and the moon is telling you to focus on things which are important maybe out of these eight only these three are three are important focus on what exactly is important what exactly will help you bring a balance in your personal life and in your professional life which will help you have good health as well as good wealth there should be a yin yang there should be a balance you cannot just focus on uh one thing and you cannot just spread yourself thin by concentrating on like giving time to many things multitasking is not something which you need to do right now focus on something which will which is actually important for you and you need mental clarity for that which is coming which you need see this mental clarity this uh, Uh, break through this idea is coming from the universe it's coming from the divine and for that you need to sit down and meditate sit down and write or script or journal and try to get in downloads from the universe because meditation clear will help you clear your mind will help you get the clarity and will help you know what to remove and what to keep and how to achieve success that's why this uh, idea this uh, we have these two which are a lot about mental clarity about dedication a shaolin master a person who is uh, like who knows these ancient arts about uh, martial arts and all these kind of even see look at these um, beads in his hand he might like he is uh, devoted he is a like a sage he is uh, very well knowledge he has a lot of knowledge he has he actually ha worships his work and uh, that kind of energy you are bringing in and that energy will help you focus on what is important what you need to do what you need to focus on what you need to bring in in your life and it will also help you know what to release what to let go and uh, the th this three of pentacles it's about collaboration it's about celebration it's about uh, friendship it's about creativity 
so you you may also know who you who which friends are good for you who you need to keep in your life who you need to work with who you need to involve in your projects involve in your personal life and who you need to get let go if you have a toxic relationship a toxic friend a toxic relative who is uh, not thinking about your uh your good or your high or who's not helping you but being jealous of you or gossiping behind your back or uh, creating troubles for you then you need to let those friends go and keep only those who are really good with you friends or relatives or whoever is uh, not being good with you and focus on that friendship which will bring positivity in your life which will help you achieve your success which will help you brace which will celebrate uh, in your success the easiest way to know who are a well well wisher is to see how how they uh, behave when we achieve something like if they are celebrating with us if they are happy for us then definitely they mean well for to us and if they are not if they are sad if they talk uh, if they like to downsize our achievements if they like to say that oh that's not that that big a deal so and so also did it that what's great about it if they are doing this kind of thing then you need to release them because their energy is not good for you and uh, don't worry don't be uh, don't feel that you don't want to be rude or you have been friends with them or you know them for such a long time how can you do no 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 you have to voice your truth be very strong determined don't be rude be assertive not aggressive be assertive and uh, or start spending less time with them and that is how you can move ahead towards this success by removing whatever doesn't serve you and that is exactly what we do during the full moon and that is what the message is coming for you now this knight of pentacles what is the knight of pentacles telling me the knight of pentacles is a card of hard work it is a card of productivity routine this person follows a very strict routine right they follow a very strict routine they uh, they are not, they don't procrastinate or they don't say that i won't practice today or i won't study today or i won't research today oh, i'll do it tomorrow i'll do i'll start from monday i'll start from the first of the month no this person is dedicated they even if they are having pain in their body even if they are having any kind of trouble sickness they will still try to do as much as they can uh, and dedic and work they are um, very they are pretty productive they are pretty uh, they follow a strict routine they believe in hard work you cannot become a shaolin master without hard work and they are they believe in that they do that and they encourage others also to do that and they reap a lot of uh, benefits from it mental physical emotional spiritual lot of benefits for it i am not telling you to be exactly like this because this is extreme you uh, but you do it as much as you can if you have any procrastination uh, or any uh, bad behavior any laziness anything which is keeping you from being successful and you know about it you definitely know about it then you need to remove that you need to bring in more hard work more uh, productivity you need a set routine that is the best way you can do it a set routine will help you get out of this energy and th that will help you achieve this success achieve this goal you look you are walk you are moving towards and uh, so this now i'll go, go towards uh, i'll go re read these uh, oracle cards from the book let's see what detail messages we are getting just a minute okay what is the card we'll look at the shalin master first slow and steady breathe and flow take a gentler approach what i said exactly a gentler approach 
स्लो एंड स्टडी बी जेंटल विथ योर सेल्फ एज वेल आई टोल्ड यू टू बी प्रोडक्टिव आई टोल्ड यू टू डू हार्ड वर्क आई टोल्ड यू टू फिक्स अ फॉलो यू नो फिक्स अ रूटीन फॉर योर सेल्फ बट दैट डजेंट मीन दैट यू विल लाइक बिकम एक्सट्रीम लाइक यू विल वेक अप एट फोर इन द मॉर्निंग एंड स्टार्ट वर्किंग लाइक सिक्सटीन आवर्स अ डे और समथिंग लाइक दैट नो 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 do some be gentler with yourself as well keep a routine you can follow for a long time not for few days and then get tired give up or uh, get uh, exhausted from it and just uh, then uh, sleep for then whole week after that no no don't do anything like that have a balanced routine where you can rest as well as work in a way that will not harm that will not harm your health that will not harm your productivity but a beautiful balance that you can maintain for a long time and what else uh, messages the shalin master has for you you are being guided to flow like water blow like air and connect with your purest intention don't feel you need to rush ahead a gentler approach will be more fruitful and rewarding move with subtlety and grace Uh, reach high but also ask yourself how you can move with flow of life rather than pushing against it do do you have the capacity to refocus your gaze at this time can you slow down or take more time to soften and breathe as you move forward all of this will incre- will be incredibly benefit for what happens next you need to focus if you can actually achieve what you want to achieve set goals achievable goals and then move ahead move forwards i'm so sorry then move forward so you do not oh, harm yourself and a realistic goals when you achieve your realistic goals it is very fulfilling it is beautiful it is amazing and uh, that is how you will grow that is how you will move ahead flow like a water don't struggle flow in the water and you and for that for for all this you need clarity and for clarity you need to either meditate or script both these methods are very powerful very uh, helpful to bring in more clarity in your life what exactly you not need to do where exactly you need to go if you have a mentor if you have a master a teacher a pers a elder person someone who has done what you want to do who has already achieved what you want to achieve then take advice from that master as well and that master will help you uh, understand what you need to focus on how you need to go ahead with what you want to achieve and uh, be thankful to that master and take their their advice now this person can be anyone who has achieved anything what you want to achieve or something what you have to want to achieve or something like that similar to that or even if you like someone who is um, dedicated to their personal routine to their personal fitness their health and you go and ask them that how you do it i would like to learn then they will definitely help you with it and uh, give your true intent tell your true intentions behind it why you want to achieve what you what you want to achieve tell them what you are doing currently and they will try to help you out uh, to help to figure you out how exactly you can go ahead and achieve the success you deserve okay now let's see what john of arc has to say now john of arc is voice of truth so stand strong focus on your purpose release the fear of persuasion and speak your truth you are being encouraged to stand strong you may feel unrecognized and misunderstood that might be the feeling over here which you need to release but that doesn't mean you have to give up on the mission you feel called to fulfilled yes you are being called to fulfill this mission this important mission in your life this is your calling this is something which you want to do which the universe also wants you to do you must follow the will of your soul and exercise your leadership spirit by speaking your truth you may feel as if you are on a battlefield uh, but this conflict will come to an end as soon as you stop defending yourself you are not here to prove yourself to others instead approve of yourself 
definitely this person does not prove himself to others he is doing this for himself he is not doing this to uh, prove to someone else or some or someone cannot focus uh, someone cannot force anyone to be a shalin master or be someone like a warrior like this jona fark nobody can force you be that you can be that on yourself and you don't need to um, explain yourself to others you don't need to take permission from others or you don't need to definitely you don't need to give any like uh, you don't need to defend yourself to others if they do not uh, understand what you are doing and why you are doing if you know you are not harming anyone but improving your own life then remove those doubtful people from your life if you can't remove them at least don't give them any energy focus on your goal focus on what you want and you will move ahead know that your angels are on your side and the heaven is thanking you for being the honest soul you are the heaven is is helping you the heaven is thanking you angels are on your side you are getting a lot of uh, this these messages are coming from the moon towards you and they are definitely going to help you become the strong successful person you are meant to be and bring in who uh, are good for you your the people who your well wishers and remove who are not your well wishers and help you bring in more clarity i hope you got the messages you are looking for i hope this resonated with you if you have any advice if you have any request do let me know i am really grateful for all the thanks shares subscribes and all the sub love and support i am getting for this brand new channel and uh, i will look forward to meet you again to see you again in my next videos and uh, i'll move to pile number 2 if you want to you can see all the piles and you can see what other messages are also coming because any message you receive might might help you achieve what you want to achieve thank you so much have a wonderful day welcome pile 2 let's see what messages the moon has for you what guidance what messages pile one had a very nice uh, message oh i say it's beautiful okay magic manifesting look at this card it is so beautiful i love this card magic manifesting your dreams uh visions and goals are becoming reality stay focused beautiful and uh, oh high priestess right high priestess another strong and these both cards are have uh, like based on egyptian based on egyptian like uh, this these are uh, this is these are so beautiful so breathtaking uh, amazingly so beautiful and um, it's a like a nice synchronicity we are going getting over here two strong feminine energies let's see and very spiritual highly spiritual nine of cups nice manifesting manifesting wish fulfillment nice okay seven of swords this is not so nice but let's see why it is here okay queen of swords and another queen queen of cups okay two two queens and another like two queens over here we can say as well like uh, or two uh, like highly spiritual or highly powerful female energies so okay so if you are a female you are getting into your queen stage your queen powerful stage you are becoming that mature beautiful abundant like the successful the prosperous person you are supposed to be if you have someone in your life a feminine person uh, in your life who loves you who supports you be maybe your sister your mother your partner your counterpart uh, your lover your friend 
your teacher your student whoever loves you supports you this person is helping you in whatever you want to achieve or this person is going to be with you for a very long time and is going to help you overcome all kind of deceit all kind of loss all kind of uh, through all kind of you know manipulation or whatever negative someone is trying to do behind your back this person is going to help you overcome that and see the truth actually so that you can cut that person out of your life and let's see who you are you are definitely a very strong feminine person like uh, you may have strong feminine energy even if you are a if you even if you recognize as male you have strong feminine energy in you like this is a complete empress energy which i'm getting a complete high priestess empress energy which is very strong very powerful so let's see what the high priestess uh, and empress stand for uh, the high priestess is all about sacred knowledge about intuitions about your about going within about knowing uh, like uh, studying and developing a uh, sharper intuition about be about being the divine divine feminine about the about your subconscious mind about your subconscious knowledge and uh, the empress is about femininity beauty nurturing balance nature and these all soft but very nurturing very feminine very beautiful very creative energy is very strong in your life right now this is completely like the moon energy this is completely like venus energy which is very strong which is very powerful and it is creating a beautiful life you are nurturing you are you might be very fertile at this time so if you are trying to conceive then it is going to happen to you immediately within a few weeks or months you might conceive if you don't want to be careful because you are pretty fertile at this time and uh, even if you are in in uh, trying to bring in new idea new uh, start a new business or uh, start a new creative project this is a beautiful time to do that you are completely in the zone you are completely in that mode where you are meant to create something amazing something long lasting and now we'll go into details of uh, of, of both these cards we'll read from the book but let's see what messages we are getting from these tar tarot first okay so let's see who this person is this person is such a mismatch in the reading who this person is? this person doesn't stand in front of you you are too powerful for this person to even try to pull something uh, over your head no let's see who this person is because this person is going to have a tough time dealing with a queen of sword dealing with the high priestess let's see okay this is a uh, seven seven of swords is about betrayal deception getting away with something acting strategically this person is trying to betray you this person there is someone who's trying to betray you who thinks that he or she is very smart is trying to do something over your head is trying to uh, manipulate you is trying to convince you to give up something which is important for you is is trying to run away with your possessions is trying to ha create some kind of uh, misfortunes or some kind of trouble in your life and this person thinks that this person is pretty sneaky this person is uh, like doing things behind your back and you won't no 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 don't worry the angels your love so the people who love you the people who support you are on your side you are a lot powerful than this person thinks this person underestimates your power and you are so powerful that uh, 
whatever this person is trying to do is not going to affect you is actually you might find it funny actually you might find that oh, you might find it as an entertainment you might find this person uh, like you this person might turn out to become like be like a fool in front of everyone because you are you already see what this person is doing or what this person is trying to achieve and you think that okay fine do whatever you want to do i know what i am capable of and even if this person tries to move out like get away with what they are doing it's not going to harm you because you are far more powerful you are you are far more powerful you have already soared higher you are stronger let's see what else so this person whoever it is if you don't know try to see try to understand ask your loved one who have who you completely trust uh, if you have some doubt about someone if it is a colleague if it is a neighbor a relative a friend who whoever this is or an ex whoever this is trying to create a trouble maybe he is he or she is spying on you through your social media i would advise you to not put ev all everything all your details on social media if you are trying to achieve something if you are at an initial stage of a project of something important in your life don't put the details about it in on social media uh, you can definitely put it later when you already achieve it when you have done it when you have completed it because there is this there is this energy which can create an evil eye on your project or can create some negative uh, hurdles or blockages in your in your project so don't put that on social media don't tell it to everyone keep things to yourself till you complete it till you manifest it that is what one strong advice i'm getting from the moon to you so if you are into the habit of uh, giving away all your or telling about all your projects all the work you are doing everything you are doing to everyone uh, putting it on social media declaring it to the world then stop doing it until you reach a level of your project 9 is not completion but 9 is almost completion so till you reach at a level of your project where you know that Uh, the person or uh, your the people who don't mean well to you will not create any harm so even if you don't want to wait till you complete the project then wait till a stage where you have achieved like a level of success or you have achieved almost completion where this person cannot harm you where this person cannot uh, create trouble cannot take away your achievements cannot have an evil eye on you that is one strong messages message which i got uh, now uh, once you take care once this person is out of your life once you take care of this person once you know who this person is then there is nothing to worry about because rest all cards are very powerful very positive and uh, the you are going to achieve satisfaction you are going to achieve success you are going to achieve uh, what you have started you are going to find help in it or see this is 9 and i talked about fertility 9 of cups maybe this is 9 months maybe this is talking about a baby maybe you are trying to uh, have a child have a baby and uh, you are going to have that you are going to achieve that you are going to find success in that definitely it is coming it is this is fulfillment this is wish coming true this be grateful for this for this achievement before it achieve, before you achieve it before it comes to completion be grateful be in that grateful energy because the higher powers are working with you and they would like to be acknowledged and uh, then they will help you remove this bad energy remove this sneaky person okay what else queen of cups is a nurturing practical 
फाइनेंशियली इंडिपेंडेंट और सॉरी इट्स अ कम्पैशनेट केयरिंग इमोशनली स्टेबल इनिशिएटिव पर्सन ही दिस पर्सन इज जस्ट लाइक द एम्प्रेस इमोशनली स्टेबल नर्चरिंग कम्पैशनेट केयरिंग सो हु एवर दिस पर्सन इज इन योर लाइफ मे बी यू और सम वन एल्स फेमिन एनर्जी सो इट नॉट नेसेसरी दैट दिस पर्सन इज फीमेल बट दिस पर्सन हैज अ स्ट्रॉन्ग फेमिन एनर्जी इन दैम इट कैन बी योर वेरी केयरिंग नर्चरिंग मैन एज वेल लाइक योर फादर योर पार्टनर योर फ्रेंड योर ब्रदर योर को वर्कर एंड कैन ऑल्सो बी अ फीमेल लाइक हु हैज अ हु इज वेरी केयरिंग who is very compassionate who has your high regards high wishes wants to see you become successful wants to see you grow wants you wants will rejoice in your achievements this is your true well wisher this is someone who loves you and who cares about you and wants to see you grow this person has your back this person and you should have their back as well i think you do you definitely do have their back and you should definitely um appreciate this person in your life because this is a wonderful person to have a parent a spouse partner sibling uncle aunt um, coworker teacher mentor whoever this person is you are very lucky to have such a nice compassionate caring strong person in your life and uh, you are becoming independent you are unbiased you you uh, have strong boundaries you have clear boundaries you do not uh, care about any sneaky people or you do not entertain any such energies and you are a straight forward person you are straight forward you don't um, sweet talk or you don't hide what you want to say you are straight forward you give them what they deserve if they are loving you love them if they are sneaky you let them know that you understand them and you want them out of your life so which is a very good good way to live actually and uh, now let's see what the isis and high priestess has to say we'll uh, read through the book now let's see what exactly are the these cards telling us align with the light and focus on all things positive the high priestess tells you to harness mystic power okay you are a mystic with the capacity to connect with energies that go beyond the human senses within you is a force of magic that is directed by your will there is an opportunity for you to rise up at this time but it requires dedication and discipline dedication and discipline you need to bring in more dedication and discipline be the straight forward person with you as well when you see yourself slacking off when you see yourself not doing what you're supposed to do then be that strict with you yourself not with only with others but even with yourself okay you are being guided to look at what you are working on or at the situation before you and determine where your priorities lie if you are unable to figure that out you must use your intuition and discernment to focus on what will bring you closer to your goal and the happiness of everyone involved when this card arrives it's also important for you to check in with your intuition as it will give you guidance that will be important for your growth into to check your intuition you should definitely uh, try to meditate more try to script more these are the two methods which i tell in almost all my readings that you need to script more you need to meditate more so that you can get more clarity sword is all about mental clarity so you will get mental clarity to become the person you are supposed to be to become this high priestess to become this powerful person now let's see what isis is telling isis is telling about magic manifestation your dream visions and goals are becoming reality stay focused 
your dreams are coming true your wishes are coming true your goals are becoming be reality you are manifesting you are manifesting what you want to manifest so you are on the right track and uh, what what else is this card saying uh, you are moving into a space where you your dream reality is becoming your outward reality this is an extremely powerful time and it is vital to keep focused on the highest good of all you no longer want to relive your own history you don't want to relive this old own history you want to remove this bad energy this bad past you want to remove this person this energy this habit which has created trouble in your in your past you want to don't you don't want to relive your history you don't want to feel unsupported this person makes you this habit this person this energy makes you feel unsupported you don't want them you want to turn your back towards them and focus on who is supportive who is loving who is caring acknowledge where you once were and how you can change that situation around is powerful focus of gratitude that will align you with universal abundance discipline and commitment are important now consider that you are moving between worlds when you daydream or create vision and bring life in enhancing ideas into reality magic is manifesting all around you this is exciting yes definitely this is exciting magic is manifesting all around you you are uh, making your wish come true you are uh, bringing your your dreams into reality and you are becoming this strong uh, level headed this clearly focused person you have the love of love and support of universe and your loved ones you are removing this past energy you have turned your back from it and you are becoming this high priestess it's a it's a very strong very strong energy over here very strong message the moon has such beautiful energy messages for you such beautiful energies for you and uh, i and um, you might become a mom soon or you might convince uh, sorry conceive soon and uh, it is coming in your life you are manifesting this you want this to happen if not then maybe you are manifesting uh, a business and a career opportunity a creative project a new a new love life a new marriage whatever it is this life this is coming in your reality two manifestation cards are there two queen cards are there two divine feminine cards are there what else do we need this person cannot stand in front of you you are into your complete feminine power you are beautiful you are wonderful you are becoming more attractive you are becoming more powerful and oh, like you have the love and support beautiful energies i hope you liked it i hope you enjoyed this message i hope it will come true in your life i hope you get so grid of this energy and i i would really appreciate a like share comment subscribe from you thank you if you are, if you have already subscribed i am i got a lot of love from you so soon in this new brand channel i am so grateful i am so thankful um all my best wishes with you and um, if you want you can see another pile pile 1 was all about dedication so you had the message of dedication you can check that out if you want you can stick stay for the pile 3 you because these messages are beautiful these messages are coming directly from the full moon energy and um, i hope they help you achieve what you want to achieve your wish are getting fulfilled i'm very happy for you uh do let me know what you think about these readings if you have any suggestion any request let me know and uh, i'll see you in my next reading have a wonderful day thank you so much welcome pile welcome pile 3 i got so pumped up with the pile 2 energy it was so strong and so powerful so many messages and uh, it was very clear even the pile one energies were very clear and the messages were very clear and uh, let's see what messages the moon is giving you what exactly the moon wants to tell you and um, these might not resonate with everyone as with pile one and pile two as well i forgot to tell them it is a general reading actually 
okay mother mary love and peace beautiful let go of the need to be right choose peace mother healing is possible at this time mother mary mother healing healing is possible healing okay earth mother another mother 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 feel loved and comforted maybe you are uh, dealing with your mother yeah there is some uh, issues with going on with your mother and uh, feel loved and comforted and uh, even if you like have some disconnectment or some disagreements with your mother right now don't forget that your mother loves you and you will feel peace peace out of it and if and maybe you are about to become a mother maybe you are pregnant right now or you are going to conceive very soon and that are maybe you are struggling with this stage of not getting pregnant or this is not for everyone this is only for who you uh, it resonates if you are going through that period where you want to get pregnant and it is getting delayed feel loved and comforted don't stress yourself the stress is going to delay the process more feel love and comforted that it is going to happen in your life it is coming in your life the change the transformation is coming if you already are a mother you want to be a mother or you are dealing with your mother mother is very important over here mother is extremely important over here this can also be dealing with your mother in law or a mother figure like uh, an aunt or teacher a mentor someone who you look up to as your mother or an elder sister a cousin let's see okay ace of cups devil tower and oh my god 10 of swords tower devil ace of cups okay okay oh my god what are you going through darlings what are you going through let me check this out what does the moon want to tell you my 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 okay let me see okay right the moon is telling you that there is a completion a completion of this mental stress this mental anxiety this mental disappointments this dark period the dawn is uh, you know the sun is rising you the dawn is going to cover this darkness the light is coming this is a completion this is ended this is ended this whatever struggle you went through maybe last year maybe uh, as i said that you are trying to conceive and it is getting delayed it is not happening and you are worried about you about it you are stressed about it you exhausted about it it is coming to an end the exhaustion the the stress the pain this is a painful ending it is ending the pain is ending the struggle is ending the stress is ending it is coming to an end so let's see what exactly is ending what exactly is coming to an end the disappointment the the pain the arguments if you are if you can't conceive and because of that you are feeling a lot of uh, lot of uh, stress and anxiety and men and uh, people are putting pressure on you and uh, you are feeling that uh, it will never happen with you whatever these uh, disappointments are these trouble is this pain is it is ending this message is not going to resonate with everyone this is specifically for those who are going through this period hear me out see if it resonates with you if it doesn't then you can check the other two piles because they had very clear messages as well this is a very specific message now let me go in detail for for them who it resonates with okay so 10 of swords is all about painful ending is about deep wounds it about betrayal loss crisis you are wounded right now you are feeling lost you are feeling like you are going through a crisis but this is ending this has ended completed 10 is completion 
you have went through this dark period you are exhausted you are completely over this energy you want to get out of this you know what it is coming to an end you are coming out of it you are moving out of this energy this can also be a relationship which was painful for you and maybe you are going through a divorce maybe that is happening and i'm really sorry for you if you are going through this painful ending if you are facing all this trouble if you are facing i am really sorry for you i really have nothing but good wishes for you and let's see how you can come out of this and become and reach this level a new beginning 10 is completion ace is new beginning let's see how we can move out of this pain betrayal bad relationship or feeling uh, be uh, or feeling helpless let's see how we can move out of this towards this new love this what is coming from the divine let's see this is coming these angels are bringing it for you this is coming from the divine let's see mm, the devil card talks about your shadow self it talks about attachment addiction it talks about restrictions it if you are feeling restricted if you are feeling that you are attached codependent on a negative per with a negative person on a, in a negative relationship if you are you feel bound if you feel like you are restricted you can't move out you feel uh, like helpless that why what you want to have why what you want is not coming in your life when will this end when will this when will i get out of this this kind of feeling this kind of energy don't worry it is coming this devil this ending this painful ending is this you are going to get your get your tower moment out of it tower is not a bad card tower is actually about change which which in your case is what you need which is welcomed in a lot of cases i love the tower card because it helped me help me come out of my bad relationship help me come out of my uh, difficult period tower is important tower helps us remove that uh, that uh, instable structure which we built which we were dependent on which we were addicted on it helps us remove that it helps us remove pride um what else the tower is sudden change upheaval chaos real rele revelation awakening this change this upheavalness this chaos this complete closure is coming from the divine the universe is bringing in the universe wants you to come out of this energy the universe wants to remove this from your life the universe the sunlight is just coming covering our reading this is one more sign you are coming out of the darkness the dawn is coming up this is i am sitting uh, near the east uh, the window which faces the east the sun is just rising the light is covering your reading you are coming out of the darkness universe is removing this bad marriage this bad relationship this feeling of insecurity this feeling the or this bad uh, um, job situation or whatever this negative energy you were in the universe is removing it it is coming to a complete end and it this will be a this will be a permanent change this is not something which you will uh, feel for a while and then go back to that old self no this is a permanent change this is completely coming out of your life and why the universe is removing this to make space for this to make space for the new love which is coming in for the new start for the new opportunity this also the universe is doing this also the universe is doing both the divine is doing both the ener both energies are coming from the divine are coming from the angels 
you are going through this challenges this difficult period right now to come out of the this complicated this troublesome this disappointment let's see what the ace of cup is bringing in for us it's bringing in a new love a complete new love a new relationship compassion creativity this is bringing in the love we deserve the love the compassion the creativity it is removing all this bad energy it is removing the universe is removing this and it is bringing in this new love full moon is all about releasing full moon is all about releasing what does not serve us releasing all the negativity and that is exactly what this first full moon of the year is doing for you it is removing all this bad negativity all this energy that is putting you down where you feel so defeated where you feel helpless where you feel that you are bounded where you feel codependent where you feel addicted where you feel like you are a failure everything is going away you are coming out of this this energy this relationship this struggle you are coming out of it and new love is coming in if you are if you have been trying to conceive if you have been struggling with conceiving then universe is wish fulfilling your wish this new love your child this new life is coming in your life you will be able to conceive if you are trying to move to move out of a bad relationship a marriage it is happening new love is coming if you are trying to move out of a job where you don't feel appreciated where you are um, mistreated where you don't feel valued then it you are going out of that job you are leaving that job and a new job a new opportunity is coming for you whatever was not good for you is going out of your life and a new start is happening and i wish you a lot of love a lot of luck a lot of support all the divine blessings all my prayers are with you in this transaction period because it is a difficult period i went through this exactly this in 2018 and 19 i went to this i went through all this energy a very dark period in my life i went through this and i completely believe in the universe i completely know that whatever happened happened for my good although it was painful at that time although i spent a lot of na lot of time crying over it but i know whatever happened happened for my good what helped me come over through that period was vipassana i went for a 10 day vipassana meditation retreat to come out of the negative energy vipassana helped me come out of the negative energy it helped me connect with my spirituality it helped me connect with my higher self and i still follow the meditation practice and it i would suggest you also to follow a meditation practice to connect with your spiritual self to connect with your higher self because the universe wants to connect with you now you don't have to go for a 10 day meditation retreat no you can do that from your the comfort of your house there is a lot of guidance which we get on the internet try to see what suits you what is comfortable for you and go for it and you will definitely find the clarity find the love find the help you deserve you need to come out of this dark period and get in find this new love these or these three cards might feel negative but they are not they are important for your growth this was a karmic lesson which you went through which your soul needed to experience so that you can enjoy this new love so that you can appreciate this new love so can you can you can become the person who is capable of this new love right a diamond has to go through pressure to get formed into a diamond right you went through this a seed 
has to get buried to become a tree to become a powerful plant so if you are feeling buried right now if you are feeling under a lot of pressure right now you are going to transform look at these butterflies all over this mother earth so many butterflies you are transforming into the person you are meant to be into someone who is capable to accept this new love if this new love comes in this energy or this energy then it's not going to stay it cannot stay because it's not vibrating at that level that's why the tower energy is coming so that this energy comes gets out you and a new clean slate is there your life will become you will have a new beginning a new start and which will be perfect for this new love to come in to live if you if you were trying to conceive and it was not happening for a long time and uh, then don't worry this is a positive message that it is coming don't feel dis don't feel bad don't feel don't be in the negative energy it is coming in your life don't listen to people who are trying to make you feel bad or who putting a lot of pressure on you try to stay calm and that energy is going to come that new love is going to come in your life the new love the new child the new opportunity the new job new creative project new field it is coming in your life this is new beginnings 10 is completion now we'll go through the both these mother cards because they are so comforting and that is what you need right now you need a lot of love and comfort let's see no, the earth mother feel loved and comforted allow yourself to be cherished earth mother is protecting you with a shield of love and light you have felt overwhelmed or out of control emotionally recently but you are now moving back to your natural center and that will bring you to a place of clarity and openness if you have felt grounded known that mother earth is here to root you and help you regain your sense of strength you may not feel like a child but in the eyes of the divine you are a child of light and it's important you know that you feel loved if you have had challenges with your mother or with being a mother yourself what i exactly said know that the energies of mother healing are with you to help clear any uh, ancestral blockages that are preventing you from making this sacred love connection you are being guided to make choices that are based on love the sacred love connection is coming towards you the challenges which you faced are going to come out you need to feel comforted you need to feel loved do something which you enjoy watch a funny movie have a spa day at your house or take a massage pamper yourself do some beauty routines do something which you love which you enjoy have a cup of tea or coffee with your friend with your loved one or maybe your mother do something which you enjoy and feel comforted feel loved get out of this energy don't give this more time the moon is with you you are transforming if this tower moment is coming in your life welcome it welcome it you are not losing anything you are not losing in fact you are overcoming all the hurdles or the challenges and bringing in new love let's see more messages from mother mary mother mary love and peace let go of the need to be right choose peace mother healing is possible at this time it is time to let go or of conflict or the need to be right the more you fight for the point you want to prove the unhappier you will be pointing out the mistakes or mishaps of other just blocks the road to love in your own life mary the divine mother of acceptance 
is with you now encouraging you to forgive forgiveness is not about letting anyone get away with their bad choices but about choosing to create your own happiness mother mary also brings healing to you and your mother if you miss her or are out of contact with her or have an old trauma that needs healing now that mother mary's miraculous light is here on you wash away the darkness wash away wash away the darkness the darkness is getting over if you need if you are disappointed hurt by someone you need to forgive them you need to forgive to come out of this energy you cannot hold grudges you cannot blame some blame someone for what they did for you and still ex- try to pull in this new energy no let them go forgive forget move on let them go that energy that happened for a karmic lesson that happened for a karmic reason whoever did wrong to with like whoever did wrong whoever disappointed you they were used by the universe to help you get this message to help you learn this lesson to help you experience this this experience you chose when you came to the earth you chose to go through this experience for your own soul development this is the divine's plan the divine is going to remove this and bring in new love whatever happened it might felt very harsh it might felt very painful but it was meant to happen the divine is removing this structure this addiction this past bondages from your life and bringing in new love new love new opportunity new growth forgive love and welcome this is what the moon is telling you the moon is all about releasing the moon is all about completion a full moon is a is a completion of a phase this is a completion of a phase you are releasing it and you are bringing in new love new growth new opportunity if you are trying to conceive you are going to conceive come out of the negative thoughts come out of the negative behavior don't blame anyone else forgive forget be loving be loving be positive start saying thank you to the new love which is coming to your life to the new life new baby which is coming in your life start being thankful for it right now when you can't even see it start being thankful for it manifest it pull it in and you will have it you will conceive it you will get it you will transform into it if you are angry on someone if someone has disappointed of you forgive them you are not forgiving for their sake you are forgiving for your sake so that you can come out of this energy and attract bring in this energy bring in this love if you are going through this period i am really sorry i know it is hard but you will come out of it it is going to become it is going to be an important karmic lesson an important step for your soul to move ahead, move in their own in your own soul journey it is important i hope you find the strength i hope you find this peace this love i hope if you are trying to conceive you conceive with a beautiful healthy happy child all my best wishes are with you all my love all my support all my prayers are with you do let me know what if this resonated with you if it didn't you can definitely try another pile this was a very specific message it will not resonate with everyone but it is a very clear message i hope things work out as you want i hope you come out of this darkness the sun is shining on you the moon is giving you positive energy the divine is helping you 
the mother energy is with you love compassion peace harmony you might also be a earth sign virgo leo virgo taurus capricorn sorry as i said leo maybe even leo virgo taurus capricorn because we have devil which is uh, capricorn and we have this earth we have the earth card so you might be that as well whatever it is the tower card the tower card is telling me that it is coming to an end the painful thing painful period is coming to an end the stress the anxiety is coming to an end and you are moving towards something beautiful i hope uh, you would find the comfort you need from this reading i hope that you will find uh, the hope you were looking forward to or this will help you in any way thank you for being here thank you for watching my video thank you for all the love support the like share subscribes i love you thanks a lot and uh, i'll see you in my next reading